Yes, I know I'm bringing you more of 80 times square, but because there's a lot of different spots to choose from. So last time we tried a lot of food that's down there. This time we're going to try out Che Hong Kong food restaurant. So a lot of the foods are already made already. We're just going to choose any food that's over there. And then we're going to get a platter, then we're going to take it, and then we're going to go even further to go sit down, just relax, eat, and I'm going to let you see what I think of it. You guys ready? All right, let's go. Here. This is just uh, pork with regular eggs, but in like, um, so in Cambodia it's called uh, kaw, which is like a, it's like a soup dish that's mixed up with the pork and some egg. So, and then we got some beef ribs right here, and then we got some bamboo shoot with some green peppers, and you know, the regular plant rice. So, you know, now the crazy thing is for this meal, you, know, you get three different types of meat dishes and rice for a side of ten dollars which isn't bad you know you can't really go wrong with having three different meats so like i said one of the things is especially me that's hungry is i usually go for the egg and i gotta get my protein in mm -hmm. i'm dying nice and cheesy and for 10 bucks, you can't go wrong. So, like, imagine this. You're coming back from practice, you're coming back from a busy day, and you just want to eat. You just want a meal just for yourself. You get this for 10 bucks. 10 bucks says easily. And you can choose whatever. It's not just something that's just set. Uh, okay, you're gonna get certain things. 10 bucks, get you some veggies, get yourself some meat. Mm. Yeah. Very seasoned. At that, I said one of the things I like to make note is that it's important that you get some. You know, you want to make your money's work, make it worthwhile. You know. So let's just say you didn't want to get this. They also have roast pork. They have duck. Normally, I get like twenty dollars worth of roast pork. Twenty dollars worth, twenty dollars worth of duck. Get that, take that home, eat with some rice, and good. But for now, I was like, no, I want to go back to my favorite place, which is Asian Times Square. He had Chase Hong Kong food. Like I said, again, one of the things is being seasoned. And one thing I've noticed is that every dish is either a combination of rice or noodles. So I eat, normally for me, I go with the noodles, but this time I do it with the rice. And I decided to eat inside here because I didn't want to go home. I said, let's just eat. All right, so, so let me look at this one more time. Up. See this? 10 bucks, well worth it. You know? Man, it is good. And. Mm. Well, well, well seasoned. I love eating here, especially on ten, spending 10 bucks. Now, if you want a smoothie that's like, different ones was like 550, whether it's a strawberry, durang. I'm not much of a fan of a durang drink, but I have given it a try and it's not too bad. Not my top favorite drink, but I always, I would advise you to try it yourself first. See how it is. Durang drinks are different from eating a durang. Durang has a little, it's sweet, and it does give you a, a bit of an aftertaste, but it, it is not bad. But again, my go-to is strawberry. All right, so I'm going to finish this, and then I'll let you know at the end of it. You're All right, you guys, so we are officially done eating. Um, again, like I said, it's not bad for $10, you know. 
Um, I will say, you know, when you eat that, you know, when you get your three items, ask for additional sauces that you could put over it and some sriracha or anything that little add a little spicy kick to it. Um, I just ate it like normal because, you know, $10 is not bad. You know, like I said, you get what you pay for. Um, it is a nice spot. Um, if you want to try something different, you know, I'm not saying expect like, ooh, ah, but I'm like saying it's a good food for $10. And if you don't want to eat that, I definitely recommend the uh, roast pork and the duck. Uh, definitely get some of that. $20 worth or you want the whole entire thing you can see them chop it up right in front of you and put in a platter container well in a container you take it home you eat it with rice you know you have yourself a meal uh, one of the reasons why I do Asian Times Square a lot is because there's a lot of different selection a lot of different places to choose from whether you're trying to eat some pho or you want to eat some Korean food or some Japanese food or Cambodian food Viet food, you have all that combinations that's here. So that's why I did there. Yes, my plate looked a little bit dry, don't get me wrong, but it was good. Like I said, if I, I should have told him to add a little extra sauce on top of it, so that way I can dip. But at the end, I was adding more sauces to my rice and more sauces to my food. to add a little extra seasoning to it, but it tastes really good for 10 bucks. All right, you guys, again, um, if I haven't said it, please like, comment, and subscribe. I know I haven't said it early in the morning, but we have officially got to 200 subscribers. Again, thank you, thank you, thank you so much. I appreciate it. I know that 200 isn't much, but you know, um, I say that we are a hardworking channel. We start from the ground up. We keep pushing, we keep chugging until we hit to 1,000, then 10,000, then to the Mars, baby. But you know, it's I, again, I appreciate it. Let's just keep on working hard for this channel. Again, I know I'm posting things like a week or two, just trying to find the right good places and give you good quality content, you know? But you know, that's all the time that I have left, but you know my saying goes, you're gonna live, you're gonna laugh, and you're gonna love. Peace and take care. Yeah.